and grace I come to the cross where you died in my place out of my weakness and into your strength Jesus I come to the cross your arms so open you call me by name you welcome the child that was lost you pay the price for my sin and my shame Jesus I come Jesus I come Jesus I come to the cross Jesus I come oh Jesus I come Jesus I come to the cross oh at the cross
Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege you have given us to have this seminar for workers in the various language churches. We thank you because you have counted us worthy to be part of this seminar. We are praying that our time together will be blessed of you in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh Lord, that nothing will hinder us from getting the best from you in Jesus' name. As workers, we represent many other people. We are not here for ourselves. We are here so we can learn and then go to give out to those who are waiting behind. So we pray that you make us realize we are representatives of the people back in the various churches in Jesus' name. All they need, we pray you help us to receive so as to go and give to them. That will be a blessing to the people of God. That will be fervent and silent in the work of God. That all look Firmness will go away from our lives. And the fire from heaven will fall upon the altar of our soul and spirit. That the power of God will come upon every one of us. That everything that makes a person to be lukewarm, you will cancel from our lives in Jesus' name. Whatever makes us to belittle ourselves that we do not know the much we can do for you. God, we pray that you will cut off all those things away from our lives in Jesus' name. That every plant the devil has planted in our lives in this seminar uproot it in Jesus' name. That the seed of discouragement and its seed of despair and the seed of regret and the seed of lukewarmness and the seed of prayerlessness that the devil is trying to plant in our soul, in our mind, in our spirit. Oh Lord, uproot it in Jesus' name. Irubi idayafo, irubi irewesi, irubi ilawawa, irubi kogbona kotutu, kogbo irubi tiyo tangbi yejula tigbi sinwa yewa, ni akoko semina ibaba, the anointing that has been taken away, pour it upon us in Jesus' name. All our consecrations, everything we laid upon the altar before, that we have been taken away one by one. Oh Lord, bring them back to our lives in Jesus' name. We are the people that we will use to bring revival, to be renewal, to bring consecration, to bring conversion upon all the people around us. We stretch ourselves upon the altar of the Lord. Use us in Jesus' name. Asamo we pe awa ni awon eniyan na ti e o lo lati sise ise nla lati mu isoji isodo to ati yi pada kan bo opolopo awon eyan ti o nduro de wa oluwa a do bale gbalaja lori pepe baba lo wa ni oruko jesus in this place we want people like paul again ni oluwa a tun fe awon eniyan bi paul le ko si we want people like peter and john that will say silver and gold have i none what I have, I give unto you in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. We want them, O oh Lord, again in Jesus' name.
ni yoluwa tun fi awon eyan bi pe teru ati joanu awon to le wi pe fadaka ti wura wa ko ni sugo nti ani la fi fun won ni oruko jesus christ ti nasareti dido ke o si ma rin oluwa gbadura pe awon eyan bi paul afan yin bi pe teru ati joanu je ke da bi won bayi ni oruko jesus people like elijah that can go before ahab and say according to my word there shall not be rain all these days give us those people in jesus name among us awon eniyan bi elija to le lo siwaju habu lai beru to le wi pe gege bi oro mi ki yo si ojo tabi ri ni awon odun won yi oluwa awon eniyan be bi won fun wa ni oruko jesus people like elisha that the people can go to and say the situation of this city is very good but the water is bad and there is death there and he can bring salt in the new cruise and then he can pour it upon the spring it will heal the whole land heal the whole city and bring all the people to god make us like elisha today in jesus name awon eniyan bi elisha ti awon eniyan le to lo wi pe itedo ilu yi dara sugbon wa la ti ani na ni eleyi ni tori omi re ati ya won soro yi ti o si so fun ti won se bi won se fi yo sinu ladugo ti won si da si orisun na ti o si sise imu lara da ti iwo so ni ilu na laarin awon eniyan na ilu awon eni be ti o ni owo olodun aye won be won dide laarin won ni oruko jesus people like abraham that can lay their eyes on the altar lay their job on the altar lay their profession on the altar lay themselves upon the altar and be ready to work for the salvation of Sodom and Gomorrah to work for the salvation of this city of Lagos to work for the salvation of Nigeria raise up those people in amis in Jesus name awon eniyan bi Abraham ti o le fi Isaac won sori pepe to le fi on to joju to joju lo fun won sori pepe to le fi ise won sori pepe to le fi oju se ojo won sori pepe to le fi emi won sori pepe ti won ti dide fun igbala sodom o gomora ti won sise fun irapada won to nsegbe oluwa gbadura pe ninu ijo wa ni yi awon ti o dide fun igbala orilede yi ati ilu yi ati ipinle yi be won dide laarin wa ni oruko jesus lord want people like jephtha that will say i have opened my mouth to the lord i cannot go back give us people like that in jesus name oluwa awon awon eyan bi jephtha laarin wa awon ti yo wi pe mo ti ya inu mi si oluwa n ko si ni boju eyin iru awon eni be ti ki yi iyare ni soto won pada bi won fun wa ni oruko jesus lord we are praying you give us women like deborah when there was no man to stand no man to go to the battlefield no man to fight the battle of the lord the women like deborah that were right and say i will do it i will go i will do everything that it takes give us women like that in jesus name awon obirin bi debora awon ti o le wi pe ni won gba ti ogun nbe bayi ti ko si okunrin kankan ti ko se n to le saju ogun yi lokunrin won lo won lo se ife oluwa won fi emi mi sori pepe won fi aye mi sori pepe ti won si se tapata ku oluwa iru awon obirin be bi debora bi won fun wa ni oruko jesus people like anna women like anna that can bring their false bond to serve the lord bring their money to serve the lord bring their family to serve the lord influence their husband to serve the lord oh lord give us such women in jesus name awon eniyan bi anna awon obirin bi anna eni wa bi olorun ti o le fi omo won jipo oluwa patapata ti won le fi owo won jipo oluwa patapata ti won le nipa lori aye oko won lati si oluwa lori ebi won lati si oluwa iru awon eni wa bi olorun be bi anna fi won fun wa ninu ijo ni oruko jesus give us women like mary that can provide salvation for the world that can provide the lord jesus christ that will come and declare the truth of the word of god and raise up such son of god oh lord we pray you give us people like that in jesus name awon obirin bi maria awon ti won le pese ona igbala fun araye awon to je pe nipa so won a fi bi olugba laraye oluwa gbadura pe iru awon obirin be ti won fi aye won ji pata pata fun yin e gbe won dide laarin wa ni oruko jesus o lord in this meeting we come for you oluwa ninu ipade yi eyin gan la wa fun for revival a wa fun isoji for renewal a wa fun isodo to reconsecration a wa fun itun ara eni ya soto we pray that anything of the devil anything of darkness anything of demons will not find a place in our midst in jesus name 
Only one bad way you go, oh, quanti shot your shoe, oh, quanti shot your coco, oh, quanti shot your milk coco, Pomira, Yelani, one in your book of Jansu. All that attitude and habit of talkativeness, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Bobo, you was see at the me, Gija, Laro, Yagot, Weeper, a Pagile, Lani, one in your book of Jansu. All that attitude and habit of grumbling, complaining, murmuring, why is this so, why is this so? The people that are looking for material things, not looking for heaven to descend upon them, cancel it in Jesus' name. Bobo, you was see at the Waki Kong. Chisha, we are 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 we we are we are we are we 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 will climb the highest mountain. We will go the longest journey. We will save multitudes of sinners in the kingdom of God. All the churches that we represent coming from our districts, where there is coldness, where there is lukewarmness, as we go back, fire from heaven will come in Jesus' name. All those people that have been in our language churches for months, for years, they have not been born again. As we go back, O oh Lord, the fire of conviction will burn. That they will fall upon their knees, they will call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, they be ushered into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Oluwa gbogbo awon eyan won ni ti won ti wa ni ju aleku je ko wa fun opolopo osu fun opolopo odun sibe won o ni gbala won o mo oluwa oluwa gbadura pe ina idale bi fun ise ti o mu lo sori ekun won ti won wo oluwa ti won fi de ni gbala oluwa gbadura pe ke tu le wa lori ni oruko Jesu we pray that the revival starting in this place will go through this city it will go through all our tribes in this country, in all the states, in all the local governments. This revival fire that you are sending from this time will cover this whole land in Jesus' name. <laughs> The churches that have been dwindling and very, very small, they are not able to reach any goal. They are not able to expand. Oh Lord, I pray, all the limitation the devil has put upon these churches, you remove them, you break them up, and you make them to be without limitation, expansion, and growth in Jesus' name. <laughs> Ti ko ku be ni ko siye ko dagba soke ko si itesi waju gbogbo bi won gbogbo idaduro gbogbo ikalowo ko gbogbo ti ko je kale de ipole ti o ga ti fe ki ade oluwa gbadura pe ki e fa gile ke si je ki dagba soke bi gbe oluwa ti pipo si ni iye nipa temi ko je ohun ti o bere si sele laarin wa leyin pade yin oruko Jesu Lord we pray that from this very time new things will begin to happen Everyone here in this seminar will never be the same again. All the churches that we represent, those churches will never be the same again. That Lord mighty revival, revival of repentance, revival of salvation, revival of new life, revival of Christian conduct, revival of praying, revival of power will break out in all the district churches in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus ni agadura.
Tonight, as we begin our worker seminar, we have the message, the challenge before us. Ni ashale yi, bi ati mbere seminar ti awo shishe, yi wasi ti owa ni wajo wa ni, ipi nija ti owa ni wajo wa. If we could have eyes to see as the Lord is seen, there is a great special challenge before every one of us. Bi abale ni oju la ti ri, bi olu wa ti ri, ongo bo ti owa ni wajo wa ni, ti ona tuwa kebele, if we could see the multitudes of people that do not have the Lord, that have not been born again, and the Lord wants us to reach out unto them, you'll see there's a great challenge before every one of us. Bi abale ri e ba akbe jo ogun logo a wong kan, ti wong oti imo lu wa, ti wong oti iji ene bala, bi wong ti kwa toni a yika wa, a wong mada ju kwe bi oti jepa lo ron fisha yi lela wala ti log ba, ba okan wala. In Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Anu wan she ni tori ti are mu wan wan si tuka kiri bi anwa agoutan. Tiko ni olu sho. We need eyes like the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ani la ti ni oju, oju bi ti Jesu Christ ti olu awa. So that we will see what the Lord Jesus Christ is seeing. Ti aba ale uri, anwa anka wani ti Jesu olu awa uri. We will see the need of men like Jesus saw their need. Ao le uri, a ini anwe ni abi Jesu she uri a ini wan. We will see the spiritual need of the never dying souls in our community. Ao le uri, a ini ti emi, anwa kanti ki yiku, we will see the multitudes that are fainting without any source of sustenance. Millions of language people in this city and in this nation, they are neglected by the gospel churches. There are many people that are not saved. And many of these language people are dying without a hope of heaven. There are many of them that have gone into false doctrine and they have false hope. There are many of these language people that are just religious church goers, they are not born again. Among these churchgoers will find that tribalism is stronger than loyalty to Christ and to the truth of the gospel. Many of them are seeking the way of truth, but they are being deceived by false prophets. There is great spiritual need. I need to to that only the language churches can meet. And yet you will see that in many effective gospel churches, they use English language in preaching. And they do not have any way of reaching the teeming multitudes or the millions of people that do not understand English, and only the local language will be able to reach out unto them. That is why for us who are here tonight and others who are still joining us, the challenge is very great. Number one, I want to talk to you on the challenge of the lost crying for hell. Challenge of the lost crying for hell. Number two, challenge for consecrated workers. Number three, urgent response to the challenge. Challenge of the lost 
crying for help. Many years ago, there was a young boy that fell into a river. And the torrent and the and the waves on and the, the waves of the sea was so great it pulled that boy right into the midst of the river. The mother happened to be at the shore. And I saw his child being washed away by the torrents of river. She wanted to jump into the river to rescue her boy. There were men around her. And they kept her down. And she was screaming and crying. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The people that were watching and hearing did not know what was happening. They thought that these men were trying to hurt the woman. And so there was one man that came wanting to know what was happening. And the woman cried and said, My boy, my boy, let me alone, let me jump in and rescue my boy. And these people knew that she couldn't swim. It was just the concern of a mother. And so this young man that came to them, hearing the cry of that mother, he was moved by that cry. He looked out at the sea. And then it was at that time the way brought the child up in the, in the sea. And the mother pointed and said, there is, there is, that is my boy. And this young man that saw that woman crying removed his shirt. And he jumped into that river. When he jumped into the river, the wave carried him also into far away from the shore. He struggled looking for that boy. He was about to catch that boy like this. And the, and the wave took the boy far away from him again. He himself almost lost his life. Eventually, this young man grabbed that boy. And, and the mother was still screaming. Let me go and hell. Let me go and help. I'll catch my boy. My boy will not drown. And eventually this young man he was able to hold on to that boy. And the wave took both of them. Almost to knock them at a particular cliff and mountain very near the, in, in that river. Eventually through struggling they came to the shore the boy had drunk so much water the young man that went into the river to rescue that fellow was dizzy almost fainting because of exhaustion eventually they revived that boy and this young man that went to rescue that boy to eventually they made him to rest and made him to breathe very well eventually he himself was revived and the mother looking at his own child said that ch the child has become alive again he went to that young man he said there's nothing I can do for you I am a poor woman but you heard the cry of a sorrowful mother and you took your own life jumped into the river and you rescued my boy God will reward you.
Olorun yo sin san re God will make you great. Olorun yo gbe oga. Almost everybody forgot that story. O fe le je pe gbogbo eyan lo gbagbe itan na. That young man went to school. Odo mo korin yi pada si lewe. Came out of school. O jade ni lewe. Eventually. Ni go se. He became a president in America. Obi are ni orilede America. God answered the prayer of that woman or the mother on that young man. Olorun da o adura obirin ni ti o je iye omo to ri. You rescued my boy from dying. Pe o gbe mi omo mi lo ko je ko ri. God will reward you. Olorun yo sin ire re fun. God will make you great. Olorun yo si gbe oga. That young man, odo mo kunrin na. Had the cry of the Lord. O gbo igbe eni to segbe. And God rewarded him. Olorun si the Lord Jesus Christ too Jesus Christ, is very concerned today that many young people are drowning that many language people are drowning and he cannot come from heaven to come and rescue them and when you hear the cry of the Lord and you do like that young man and you say I will do something God will reward you God will make you great on earth and make you great in heaven. You see, the lost people are crying. They want to be delivered. They want to be saved. But how many people today, how many churches today are hearing the cry of the Lord? How many men today here are hearing the cry of the Lord? How many women here tonight? are hearing the cry of the Lord. The Acts of the Apostles chapter 16 verse 9. Acts chapter 16 verse 9. And the vision appeared to Paul in the night and there stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. These people of Macedonia had been waiting without hope. They're like many people speaking your language. They want to be saved. There is no preacher. They want to have Jesus Christ. Nobody to show them Jesus Christ. Right. They want to escape hell. Nobody to direct them to the way of heaven. These people in Macedonia had been there wanting to know the way of salvation. There were apostles in Jerusalem. They didn't know about these people in, in Macedonia. There were many people that had gone out in preaching the gospel. They didn't know about these people in Macedonia. There were thousands of believers in Jerusalem, but these people had nobody to lead them to the Lord. Nobody could speak their language. Nobody gave them any literature. And so Paul the apostle, in the night, he saw a man from Macedonia. And he saw that individual crying out. We are lost. Let somebody show us the Savior. We are spiritually blind. Let somebody come and open our eyes. Our grandfathers have gone to hell, and we, their children, we are following them. Let somebody come and rescue us. And in that night vision. This person looked at Paul. He said, You have the gospel. You know Jesus Christ. Christ. We are in need of hell. We need to be saved. Don't let our city perish like this. Come over. It will take you a long journey. Come over. You have to spend money. We cannot give the money to you, but come over. You have to forsake your family, but come over. It will affect your trade and affect your work, but come over. It will separate you from your friends, but come over. You will leave the comfort of the Jerusalem Christians, but come over. 
you will eat strange food over here in Macedonia but come over you will not have any friend among us until we are born again but come over come over into Macedonia they may be calling you in Galatia but come to Macedonia they may be calling you in Samaria but come to Macedonia all those people that have had the gospel over and over and over and over many times in Jerusalem may come to call you again but come over to Macedonia they people in Antioch that have enjoyed your ministry may be pulling you back saying don't leave us don't leave us but come over to Macedonia and help us we're helpless, help us. We're hopeless, help us. We're miserable, help us. We're not saved, help us. We're perishing, help us. And Paul had the cry of the Lord. Immediately when he woke up, he said, We gather that God will want us to go into their midst and go and help them. If you're a Yoruba person here, you, don't you know a lot of those Yoruba people that are perishing? If you are a Yoruba person here, don't you know a lot of people, people in this city that are perishing without the sound of the gospel? If you are a don't you know a lot of epic people in this city that do not know the Lord? They are telling you, come over and help us. If you are French, don't you know those who have come from various countries around us here and they are just spending useless life in Lagos? If you can help, they are helpless and hopeless and miserable and dying. Come over and help us. If you are Whatever your language, can you not hear the cry of the lost? Have you not seen them taking them to mortuary and taking them to burial ground? Don't you see how they fill the white garment churches? Don't you see how they fill the Catholic church? Don't you see how they fill the Anglican and the Methodist church? And they are wondering when will somebody that knows Christ come to tell me about Christ so I can be saved. Have you not seen those women that do not know how to read anything at all? Have you not seen those traders that do not know how to read the Bible at all? And all the preaching we do in English does not reach them. They are still saying, when will somebody come to help? Help me to know the Lord. They're saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them because because he knoweth not how to go into the city. Have you ever seen some people that have been in the desert wanting to get to the city, but they cannot find the road? You see, many years ago, there was a man that had a large, large farm. And he established a hut inside that farm. And his family was living on that farm. They had grown the plantation of rice. 
And the rice had come up very much. And on this terrible day, one of the children wandered into the rice plantation and field. And uh, as he went like that, they thought that he went to be able to kill some rabbits, and so they didn't worry about it. And evening was coming, the night was falling. This boy had not returned. When it came to about 8 or 8.30, 8 the parents began to get seriously concerned. They shouted his name, they couldn't find him. The boy had wandered too far into the rice my plantation. And the rice had become so high, taller and higher than the height of the boy. It was a time of cold. And so the parents became concerned. They shouted and shouted to recover the boy. They couldn't hear any sound. And so the father beckoned to all other farmers far away. The cry of the lost. The cry of the sorrowful. And he told these people that the chief of my strength, my boy, the one that is growing up, I cannot see, you must help me to find this ball. And this is a true story. And so what these farmers did is that they held hands together. And they stretched from the left to the right. And held their hands like this. From one end of the farm. And they were walking through the very long distance of that farm. They didn't care again for the rice. They wanted to comb and search every place to find that boy. And they were going and going. And after they had gone very far, behind them, all that rice was leveled completely. But as they came to a particular point, one of those farmers shouted and cried out, the boy had been found. But the boy was dead. Because it was a time of cold and winter, there was ice. That boy wandered away. He tried to find a way back to the hall. He labored. He tried. He went this direction. He couldn't find the hall. He, he went this direction. He couldn't find the hall. Do you know what the Bible says? The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them because he knoweth not how to get to that place. Our people are like that. Oh, they know there is heaven. Every person in this world, he knows there is a place of rest. As them at the celestial church, they know there is heaven. Children of Seraphim, they know there is heaven. And even they know there is heaven. Methodists, they know there is heaven. Even idol worshippers, they know there is heaven. Where is the way to the city? Who will show these people? And the labor of every one of them wearies every one of them. They go this direction, they can't find the way to heaven. If they go this way, they can't find the way to heaven. And in the darkness of this world, as they labor and labor and labor, if you don't get to them in time, they get tired 
tired and they get weary. Eventually they die without knowing the way to the gate of heaven. Won't you do something about it? Won't you be challenged by the cry of the Lord? The cry of the people that want to get to heaven but they do not know the way how. That leads me to the second point. The challenge of consecrated workers. The challenge of consecrated workers. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15. 2 Chronicles chapter 15. It says, Now for a long season, Israel had been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without the law. You see the condition? No, no God, no teacher, no law, no word of God. That's why we need you. Because you see, in many places, there is nobody to teach the word of God. And the people do not have the word of God. And God is looking for consecrated workers. And the challenge is that you will become one of them. Do you know that in many of our places, there are some people like this, they are almost born again, but not yet born again. Almost born again, but not yet born again. Many years ago, I was very young at that time. There's a woman in the place where we are uh, where we were living. And this woman had been pregnant. And the ninth month had already expired. And she was about to deliver. And as she was about to deliver, uh, she was laboring and laboring. I still remember the picture very now in my mind. And then my father and the other people in that uh, house, they were running up and down to rescue that mother and rescue that child. And the woman at that time, at that terrible time, she had labored all through the night. In in the hours of the morning, she was still laboring. And eventually, she started to cry. And I can still remember those people that stayed around. They said the child is almost born. We can see part of the body of the child. They said, try your best and push. She cried and said, no strength. They said, try. There was no dispensary. There was no hospital. There was no midwife. And they said, you're almost making it. They said, push. She said, there was no strength. I'm crying there. He ran up and down. Well, it's difficult to tell you the final end of that story. Even though I was a little boy at that time, I trembled. Nobody to help. Nobody to rescue. Because the child had come to the point of being born, but there was no strength. In Second Kings chapter 19, Second Kings chapter 19. And I'm reading to you in verse 3. And he said unto him, Thus saith Ezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke. And then it says of blasphemy. Then it says, For the children are come to the birth. And there is no strength to bring forth. What you will for pay by in Ezekiah, we or Johnny or Joe Halani, 
ati ibawi ati egbon bo si tun wi pe nitori ki awon omo de oju ibi ko si agbara lati bi the children have come to the point of being born but there is no strength to bring forth. And one more to do it, you do to go at you call that to do all. You know, there are many of our language people like that. They have heard, they have heard. It's almost to be born again, but then no strength to bring forth and no midwife, nobody, none of you, none of us here to be able to go and help them sing. Almost at the very last minute, you can be born again now and get to heaven. No stress to bring forth. That's why I bring the challenge to you tonight. Are we going to allow the mother to die and the child to die? Are we going to allow these people to perish? They want to be born again too. Like you have the joy of salvation, they too want to have the joy of salvation. Like you came out of darkness into the glorious light of the gospel. They also also want to come into the glorious light of the gospel. Like the labor pain stopped eventually and then joy will come that a child has been born. They also want to be born into the kingdom of God. Are there workers who are willing to sacrifice their time to rescue the perishing? Point three is the urgent response to the challenge. Let me ask you a question. That mother that was crying. Saying, let me alone, let me go and rescue my son from the sea. If the young man that came to remove his dress to jump into that river was didn't do it urgently, that child would have been would have died. Or maybe that boy that straight away into the field of rice. If somebody had responded very quickly and immediately, that child would have been rescued. The one I told you just now, or the one that was trying to deliver, but no more strength. If uh, maybe a, if some hours before that time, somebody had maybe induced that woman or did something, Maybe that the, the thing that happened would not have happened. I was just reading somewhere that เนฮิมายาฮัดเดคอนดิชั่นออฟเยรูซาเล็มเนฮิมายาฮัดเดคอนดิชั่นออฟเยรูซาเล็มเนฮิมายาฮัดเดคอนดิชั่นออฟเย
to we must not waste time. I, I want to go now. Whatever the cost will be, I want to go and rebuild the gates of Jerusalem. Those broken walls, I want to go and rebuild them. Let me go. Are there people here tonight? Seeing those people are perishing. Seeing that our language people are being destroyed. That the people do not have the way of salvation. Are there people here tonight that are saying, let me go? Every chain that is binding you, break it and say, let me go. Everything that is disturbing you, say, now I must push all this away, let me go. All the things that have been conveniences and luxury for you, push them aside, let me go and save my people. And then you bring the torch of salvation. And you say, whatever the English churches are doing, whatever the other people are doing, I want to consecrate all my life, all my time, all my resources, everything I have to the salvation of our language people, let me go. That's why the whole book of the Bible is devoted to the name of Nehemiah. His record came to the Bible. So your record be in the book of life in heaven. Let me go. How many people are saying that tonight? Let me go and rescue my people. Let me go and rescue my people. Why don't you rise up and tell the Lord, let me go and rescue my people. Nothing will tie me down, let me go and rescue them. Money will not tie me down, let me go and rescue them. No fury will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. Business will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. Profession will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. O king, let me go. O king, let me go. Husband, let me go. Wife, let me go. Business, let me go. Market, let me go. Luxury and convenience, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I want to do something. I want to rescue the perishing. I want to preach the gospel. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I want to do something. I want to do something. I want to do something. Are you going to preach the gospel? Are you going to preach the gospel? The challenge is coming to you tonight. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and rescue the perishing. Let me go and rescue the language people. Let me go. I want to rescue them. I want to be part of the people that will build up the walls of Jerusalem. Let me go and serve the Lord. Let me go and serve the Lord. Nothing will hinder me. Nothing will tie me down. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. Let me go and preach the gospel. What is your response to the challenge? What is your response to the challenge? What is your response to the challenge? There is a great challenge before us tonight. There is a challenge before us tonight. Release yourself and serve the Lord. Release yourself and preach the gospel. Let me go and serve the Lord. I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel. The people are perishing, they must come to know the Lord. Break every chain that is tying you down. 
Break every chain that is tying you down. Let me go. I want to preach. Let me go. I want to build up the gate of Jerusalem. Let me go. I want to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Let me go. I want to bring these language people to know the Lord and to come to heaven. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Don't disturb me. Let me go and preach. Don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Don't hinder me. Let me go and preach. Don't bribe me with money. Let me go and preach. I have heard the cry of the lost and I want to go and preach. I have seen the people that are saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. I want to go and preach. I will do it. 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 Let me go. Release me. I want to preach. I don't want the devil to tie me down. I don't want money to tie me down. I don't want business to tie me down. I don't want anything to tie me down. Let me go and pray. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Please don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Money, don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Position, don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. My family, don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Please don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Please Business and politics, don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Let me go, I want to preach. Woman, don't you want to preach? Sister, I don't want you to preach. Don't you want to preach? Language people are waiting for you. Don't you want to preach? My brother, man, what don't you want to preach? Young man, don't you want to preach? Why don't you break all that chain? Why don't you break all that chain? Let nothing tie you down. Don't let tiredness tie you down. Don't let anything tie you down. Don't let society tie you down. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Come, come, come over to Macedonia and help us. Arise and preach the gospel. Arise and preach the gospel. Arise and preach the gospel. Let me go, I want to preach. Me Oruko Jesu ni Agbadura. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni Oruko Jesu ni Agbadura. In Jesus' name we pray. Baba wa ti Olorun wa dupe ni owo yin ni asa leyin. Our Father and our God we thank you for tonight. Adupe lowo yin tori pe we wa sibiti awa loni ki se po sesi e ti mo be lati aye baye ni. We thank you because our coming before you tonight is not accidental it is divinely planned from the time past. Asi ti bere se ri owo agbara yin bayi wi pe eyin Olorun ti pe nu ipade yi lati aye baye wa. And we are beginning to see your hands already that Lord you have plan for this program right from time immemorial. Nitori na Olorun wa adupe lowo yin ni oruko Jesu e wa gbo ofa e wa. For this father we pray Lord you accept our praises in Jesus name. Nigbati ati nbo lati mo pe ati nbo wa si ile ise yin nibi ti o ti tu wa mo. 
gbogbo ti o da ninu aye wa ni bi ti o ti yo kuro awon nkan to seku ninu aye wa ni bi ti o ti piko nitori na baba adupe lowo yin tori pe ati bere ise yin egba ko e wa ni oruko jesu right from the time we started the journey from our houses we know we are coming to your workshop we are coming to where your mighty hand will refine us where your mighty power will work within us all that is useless all that is worthless why you remove everything for this we pray you accept our praises in Jesus name ni ba ya dupe lowo yin tori pe ni bere e ti fi ipe ni ja to lagbara isiwaju wa already lord we are praising your name because at the beginning you have given us this great challenge ibanu je to wa lokan wa ni pe awon ojo aye wa ti a ti fi sofoko se gba pada mo lord the great sorrow we have within us is the number of years we have already wasted which we cannot recollect ati ri pe opolopo odun aye wa lati bi sofo lai wu lo fun eyan eleda wa father we see that many years we have spent as been wasted we are without being useful for you oh god sugba lale oluwa but tonight oh god i say if you want to buy your luwa we are taking a fresh and a new consecration and decision pe yi to kun ninu oju aye wa olorun that lord the remaining years we are going to spend here on earth but your journey of kuru ni o tabi ogun e to kun ninu oju aye wa oluwa whether few or long oh god an gbadura bayi pe gbogbo etoku ninu aye wa a office yin ni oruko jesu lo we are pray we consecrate all to your service in jesus name ati ri ara wa gege bi amatara eni nikan lord we have seen ourselves being self centered and selfish ari ara wa gege bi alai mori lo we have seen ourselves being ungrateful ti dafidi ninu ma je mu lai lai nitori agotan agotan ti ko ni iya ni pekun lati ma gbe inu re agotan lasan lasan ti david ba le fi emi re wewu lati dojuko amate ku ati kini o lati ja won gba lenu won ah oluwa awa si nwu awon eniyan eni ti e dani awora ara yin won ki gbe lati pe ki afi ona gba la lo won se la nko ti ku oluwa a gba dura pe ki e dariji wa ni oruko jesu lord o david of old a shepherd caring for shepherd ordinary animals will endanger his life i will go and fight with a lion i will go and face a bear i will not mind even his own life so as to rescue ordinary sheep and here we are oh lord we are seeing millions of our language people they are dying passing through before our eyes they are going to lost eternity oh lord we just pray You have mercy on us and forgive us in Jesus name. Olorun wa ninu o ti asa ki esin ni wa imo ta re ni nikan wa ni pe opo igba ni awon elede wa ti le pe wa pe ki a wa fi ona igba la han won sugbon dipo ki a ba won soro ni edi abi ni bi wa ti la tun ma ba won soro bi alai gbede Olorun iya nu opo nu wa lo si ti pa be lo si aye raye egbe aye raye ti won ko le pada mo Oluwa gbadura pe ninu iwa imatare ni nikan yi ki adariji wa ni oruko Jesu Father in our selfishness we have also discovered that at times even these language people our own people who want the way of salvation they want to know the Lord they want to be they come to us come and help us show us the way of salvation instead of speaking to them in the language they understand we begin to speak foreign language We begin to speak things they don't understand, and these people wanting salvation, they perish like that without being saved. Oh Lord, I will pray you forgive us of our selfishness in Jesus' name. Allah no wa ti le sakie si pe Satan ni tiri wa mu ona ti ogbari wa mu ani pe ati di agberaga ni tori agberaga wa a o pe dara koma awo enye won yi tori pe won ko gbajuma ni nu aye a o pe fara wa da koma won ni tori pe loki kiko ni won. Oluwa nitori iwa buburu iwa ina ni iwa bikita iwa matare ni nkan tin be ninu aye wa amu ara wa wa suwaju yin a si do balej balaja Oluwa e dariji wa ni oruko Jesu lo we have been discovered that the enemy has captured us and in this way instead of going to the people humbling ourselves associating with them we don't want to go to them because they are not popular because they are not known because they are not the great privileged people as we feel as we think because of that they are not able to come near them and these people are perishing how we pray oh god 
that will forgive us of our selfishness and carelessness in Jesus' name. Oluwa, opolopo a wang kan ni e ba ti wulo ni ni jowa. A ba ti ri opolopo a polu ni i ken ya ye yi. Ti a ba ti ri opolopo a peteru ni i ken ya ye su ban tori i beraga. Wang ope dara kwa ma a wang ti wang kok ba juma ni no a ye. Wang ope ma so e di a bi ni bi wang la ti gba opolopo a kan la. Ni tori be, o ke a ima yi a wang yang ti kwa jala son wang a kwa di. Oluwa lo rin yano a wang ba rwak me la ta le ilo. I gbi a yi o tu, i fe o tu. Iro tu, nati ma ori bi oluwa ti ri ati nati hui wa ti olorun hu oluwa ki e gbe wa wa ni oruko Jesu Father we have even discovered that because of our pride we are not able to go to these people and we don't want to associate with them we don't want to speak to them the language they understand and because of that instead of preaching the gospel to them so that you can raise up Paul and the Peter's and great evangelists and revivalists from among them, we do not care for them. And as a result, they are dying without salvation. Father, we pray that God of heaven, you will put an end to this in our life, and you put new law, new vision, so that we begin to see the way the Lord sees, and we have the concern and the compassion for the Lord in Jesus' name. But thank you because you answered our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe you have been blessed. Don't let this message die. Listen to it again and pass it to others. You can get more from God at the Deeper Life Bible Church. Our headquarters is Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed are your ears for hearing these things. We'll meet in heaven if you do dance.